Measuring time. Do you know how to read time? What time is it now? And understand. Time is an important concept of life. Telling and writing time is an important skill that you should have. But before you can do that, let us study first some important concepts of time. Minutes and hours are units used to measure the passing of time. Each small division around the edge of the clock shows one minute. 60 seconds is one minute. And 60 minutes is one hour. Twenty four hours is one day. We use AM for morning. This starts from twelve AM until 11.59 p.m. We use p.m. from the afternoon until late in the evening. 12.01 p.m. until 11.59 p.m. We use a clock to tell time. There are two kinds of clocks. Digital clock and Analog clock. Based on the problem in Get Ready, this clock shows nine o'clock. The long hand or the minute hand of the clock moves around the clock 60 times in one hour. The short hand or the hour hand, the clock has moved past eight towards the nine. We can use keep counting by fives to read the clock. This is 5 minutes interval. In a digital clock, this is what 9 o'clock looks like. We can also see Quarter for three fifty. Quarter to three for two forty five. And half past three for three thirty. All of us must be aware that we must spend our time wisely. We cannot save time in our kiki bank like we save money. Give enough time for every activity you do. What time is it? Write the time that each clock shows. I will give you 10 seconds to answer.
Time's up. It's three o'clock. Six ten. It's eleven forty. Great job! Read the story and check the boxes of the times that match each clock. Sarah wakes up. What time? Sarah wakes up at 7 a.m. Sarah needs to catch her bus. On what time? Sarah needs to catch up her bus at 9 a.m. Sarah goes to soccer practice on what time? Sarah goes to soccer practice at 4 p.m. Great job! Remember, minutes, hours, and days are units of time measurement. Thank you for listening. You may now proceed to your next task. Goodbye.